Maso Blastic Ramado, Nobodo. Over all chances against Ubi. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. The movement for the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra, Masop, has lampooned Senators Ike Eporamado and Jim Wobodo over what it terms unguarded and provocative utterances against Labour Party presidential candidate Peter B. Eporamado and Wobodo had reportedly said that indeed we will never vote for former Governor of Anambra State in 2023. Masab said such statement could only come from political sleeves of Hausa of Fulani Uligeki and cannot represent the general view of Ndibu. We view that statement as that of a political sleeve to Hausa Fulani of Northern Uligeki. The statement by Masab National Secretary Comrade Igoki Ibem Ugoki begins. The statement reads, it is very unfortunate that learned men like Ike Okoramado and Jim Mwobodo will be used against their own people to say that South East will not vote for Peter B. Who even made them the spokesperson for Ndibo? Ike Okoramado and Jim Mwobodo should be ashamed of themselves for being slaves who could not even aspire to be president, even when it is the turn of Ndibo to produce the president of Nigeria. They ran away and went to the and went to the side where Ndibo will vote. Masab observed that E.K. Ekwaremado has forgotten so soon what happened to him few years ago in faraway Germany. Harangui Biafrans dealt with him. Masab is not surprised over E.K. Ekwaremado's action because we know that he can sell his brothers because of his greed for power. His aim is to return back to Senate and the only way to get a ticket is to attack his Igbo brother. Masab wished to warn all Igbo politicians that a non-violent nature should not be taken for granted. It is time all Igbo political betrayers in Igbo land will be paid back in their own coins. E.K. Ekwaramado has been in government, in government power for 20 years. Still not satisfied, Masab will not allow greedy politicians in Igbo land to destroy the future of our next generation because of their selfish interest. Masob will mobilize Igbo youths, market, women, men, town unions, and students to vote against bad leadership in entire Igbo land. One thing, let me start from the beginning, like in the beginning. <laughs> First of all, I don't even know where Masob is standing. Today, Masob is with uh, Governor Yaya Bellu. Tomorrow, it is with uh, Tinubu. I don't even understand what is going on. Now, with that being said, let's go back. So, these people now are coming out to say they are not going to vote. First of all, will they drag the population of the Southeasterners, drag them to the various polling units in various states, and then further drag them to make sure they don't print on, you know, I don't understand. The way some people come out and make this unguarded statement, self go. They should say they are not even saying it from, I'm so sorry, I mean no offense, from the right state of mind. Because I don't see how a person will be saying all of these people, they're not in one place. They are in different locations. They are in different local government. Will you go there, one after the other, or mobilize people to go there to drag them down to that particular place? It doesn't make sense to me. If you like, vote him or not. The tsunami is already at your doorstep. Mr. Peter Kadidecho goes beyond being a man. He's a movement, a formidable structure that will soon uproot your forever destiny killing structures. We are coming. And the thing is, apart from the fact where they, at the talk say, okay, everybody's entitled to their opinion. Look, you can even say you're not going to vote for him, him as a person. But coming out to say your people will not vote for I don't understand. Okay? It's not possible. You cannot, you cannot say their mind. You're not a, an empath. You cannot read their mind. It's not possible. And the thing is, these people have the right to choose. So you coming out to say that they are not going to vote for, for anybody. It's wrong. It's totally wrong. Everybody, 
no problem, no wahala. You want to, you want to come outside and you don't want to vote for him, no problem. I also have a problem with, okay, even though you don't even support this man candidate, must you come out and want to influence others not to support him as well? This is why I keep saying, I wish the Southerners will keep learning from the Northerners. Learn from them how they play politics. These people do not come and openly catastrophe, their, as in openly speak wrong about their own kinsman in public. They know they join. Check Northerners. They don't. They don't do it ever. They don't do it at all, at all, at all. Those people, eh, they're the kind of people, even if their brother is a murderer, they will cover him eh, outside. We don't know what they're going to do to him inside, though. The fact, we don't even get to hear what they do to him inside. But outside, they will defend him. I'm not saying that is good, but when it comes to politics, the Northerners, I keep saying that they're not united. They are divided among tribal lines and also further divided among religious lines. What is making it look as if the Northerners now, they are united, is because they have a unifying factor. And that unifying factor is politics. I don't care if my brother goes there and he's not doing anything. I don't care if my brother goes there and people are dying. I don't want, I don't care if my brother is there and there's a pandemic. That is the Northern behavior. As far as this person, not my brother, I know saint. Anything we like, make him do. If you like making good, they're making squander the money, you know, consigns. You see the way they reason. Now, this, I don't mean these people now are like, okay, I don't support my brother, but I'm not going to talk anything about him. You understand me? You have, you have your opinion. Let me see, see it's your, your opinion. You don't need to come out and say, I no support him. Even if they want to do him in such a way, we'll be saying, ah, at the end of the day, people don't go even notice. No problem. I'm not saying they should hide it, but yes, let's say you're not supporting your brother, but must you come out in the public and make it open that uh, you are going to make sure or people should not vote. As in, you know, bam. You know, makes sense. At least, if you're not supporting your brother, they do. You go just come out, I, Abby. You go come out and focus on your own. I don't know. I don't understand. Now, why? Wow. Is it not the Masop that endorsed and supported Yaya Bello against other Igbo aspirants? This is what I said before. This is what I said before. Masop said, Go, you don't know where they start. Today, they're standing with Bello to next tomorrow, to Nobu next tomorrow, Atiku. Nobody knows where they stand. Okay. They are prodigal fathers. They want to keep the tribe in perpetual blindness. But thank God for Peter B, the man on rescue mission. In, my, in the best of my, to the best of my knowledge, these people, like I said, everybody has the right to their own opinion and choice. But don't force your opinion on people. And it is absolutely wrong for you to come outside. You the catastrophe of Queen's man. If you know support him, why don't you leave and make him be? The thing is, Peter B is not even a Southeastern project. He's not a, an Indibu project. He is a Nigerian project that people are sincerely craving for. <laughs> they, he cannot be stopped. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.